commentary is interesting because you want to hear what someone else thought of the same thing you saw or heard, agreeing or disagreeing, different opinions and perspectives, outcomes, etc. I don't do it to shitster or cause trouble. I don't do it strictly for views or money. I don't even know how a video will go. I record, edit, upload and hope for the best, which is literally what happens. Some videos that I think are going to bang, I'm expecting hundreds of views. Other videos I think are just nonsense views no one's going to care about. They end up getting 10,000. Sometimes it's just the luck you get with uh, with YouTube, I suppose. Anyways, um, I don't look to start drama, but I will talk about it and other things that are contentious and interesting. And if that brings another discussion, then so be it. My commentary on one incident was copyright struck to avoid showcasing the blog because it's not representative of the channel it was on or the fellas themselves that had the incident, but they're happy to keep their own videos up of said incident. This was, as you know, never a foul who has their own history with certain fo uh, football judge, big up uh, <laughs> to the judge. And if it's publicly available, to be found and seen you bet people talk about it it was clipped on youtube they clipped it themselves i saw it on twitter on uh no context uh fan tv or, or that uh twitter account that that have it on there that always post the, the shamelessness and things like that out there um and if you're now worried about making the two guys look bad and having it on your platform uh, be the reason for the backtracking and damage control, I, I like to think of it as that's something you will need to change when it comes to your approach and who speaks uh, with who and when. That's something you guys need to discuss when it comes to your content. Now, the original stream is still up as well as the clipped video for proof. Here is the original stream. It is still there on the channel. So is this really uh, to stop the uh, the spread of the blow up or is, is it for other reasons? I will never know. And just to prove it, that this is a legitimate um, thing. I'm doing it in real time. Click. Don't want to hear that. Go live. Bang, there it is. Still there. Same thing with the clips. The clip channel is there as well. Don versus Egal heated clash over Elise and Saka. So the original clips are still up there so they're still up there is it really about not amplifying the fight or they didn't like what i said or how i represented the situation if something happens in a debate and it's a point of contention and i think it's worth looking at and speaking about you best believe i will no matter how petty or serious talk about it now not to bring a girl into this but as an example he's had blow-ups with lee gunner brandon don previously as well so it's nothing new and many have said a girl does this often but this isn't the only time i've covered an argument and it's just a state of the fact i'm sure there are some comments that will say this is indicative of Ingar and Don's a shit stirrer and he's he's also waffling and we can't take him seriously but we'll get to that we'll get to that I've covered Terry on the football terrace many times. He's blocked me on Twitter, hashtag never forget. It's a joke, by the way. I've covered Lee Gunner unleashing on the chat. I've covered Steve on the big six, uh, talking, uh, insulting the football terrace and also giving shit to one of the super chatters. I've covered um, uh, Stephen Housen on Rio's Five uh, recently. I've covered Deji on Footy Judge Mo. I covered uh, Brian from True Geordie. I've covered Goldbridge and Saeed, TalkSport, DR Sports and others. Nothing happened with any of those. Hell, even Rant at least wanted to take myself and Yorkshire Gunner, shout out to him, in the boxing ring, but still didn't strike the video, even though people in his chat were suggesting it. And that's one way to get your own channel removed if you actually falsely flag a video just because you don't like what was said, which is what we're going to look at in some comments. In my opinion, anytime you copyright strike someone for commentary uh, video, more often it's not because the commentator used the video, because they would have spoken throughout, changed its flow, loud, etc. Rather because of what the commentator said. I've told a girl myself, even though Don was stirring, he shouldn't have blown up at him. And it, and it wasn't to make fun of anybody, but to showcase how these debates and panels can result in fellas wanting to punch on for football opinions. And it just so happened that we saw it on Never a Foul, which unfortunate, but it is what it is. Ty and Dabs could have stopped it from escalating, but they egged it on. And now we have this fallout where I'm struck and I was told others have been as well. I gave my thoughts in a video, which we'll check out in a second here. But the video is going to be deleted to avoid the strike because it's not worth it. And they can keep their own videos up where they can showcase the incident themselves. Under titles that read in capitals, very heated. And they can be hypocritical if they choose. Agreed, Hollywood Rock. He, he is indeed. So, what was my uh i did a little response here 
that very heated incident gave me a copyright strike i will post this and paste it in the chat if you guys want to look at these yourselves uh decent responses some of the comments here let me just zoom this up a little bit so we can all read uh so video stays up blah 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 that's a pathetic move from them what the hell were they thinking uh what did i respond um uh, i think i need to go to newest first uh it's under fair use which it is but the whole video was struck unfortunately great to see getting the view thank you finch uh, streams Cas from never fell always throw shots at other people based on his personality showed i'm sure it was him that sent the copyright well i can say it wasn't his name unless they use an alias name it wasn't his name per se don't be afraid to call them out that's how bullies get away with it copyright included agreed uh yeah yorkshire gunner a whole strike yes indeed Never a foul have a history of showcasing scumbag behavior, defensive babies, says one here. Hypocritical, your vid was fair use, but YouTube don't really pay attention to the small content creators. It's unfortunate, but that's just how it goes. Never a foul a dodger, remember the footy judge mo situation. Yes, indeed, I do remember that, where footy judge mo he's got his own video on this. I'm not going to delve into it because it's not the place for it. But there was a situation, if you're interested, go to Footy Judge Mo's channel and you'll be able to go to his videos, not live videos. And I think it's one of the first ones he posted on there. Small with big egos, just take down the video. It's not worth it. Just keep grinding. These guys are so sensitive. That's what's going to happen. I'm going to have to. Because at the end of the day, it ain't worth it. It's not worth keeping the video up there to prove a point. Now, do I want to keep a video up there and be stubborn and, and have them win? I can still call them out and have other ways of you know sort of like taking the piss and calling him sensitive and stuff like that but ultimately i'm just going to remove the video because it ain't worth it uh, damage control's too late i think you should go to the barbecue and sort, sort this out face to face if they want to pay for my flights and accommodation i'm down what was the reason given for the strike bit odd because if they don't want it shown yet they have it clipped and it made a video of themselves agreed that's why it's it's there the clip is there it is on their clip channel that's it's there so that's what it is striking for fair use is blatant abuse of youtube terms of service you can't strike because you don't think the video you posted is an improper depiction of your channel you chose to keep it up and proceed to attack other channels who are discussing said topic i highly highly agree with Fonz Nasty's comment here, 100%. They chose to keep it up and proceed to attack other channels. Uh, yep, they had every opportunity to stop the argument and choose not to for the sake of laughs and views. Censoring free speech is very inappropriate use of power. I don't usually agree with Don and Nagal on anything. They let it get too far. The hosts also just as culpable as they are. There were multiple moments when they could have stopped. 100%, 100% agreed. Yes, they could have. I even said it here as well. Um uh would i say i said it here yeah but could have stopped it from escalating but they egged it on and now we have this fallout so when once i do delete it this will be the alternative link because i can't ban it from every single platform so if you do want to go watch it if you haven't seen it yet and you're watching this for the first time it can be found on vimeo so that's where it shall be